All right. Welcome to episode number six of T Kurals. This is the series where we learn Tiru Kurals together. Uh, Adi is here. Adi, say hello. Hey guys. So yeah. So again, we're here with the Aram book. Today, I think we're talking about uh, Tiru Kural number six, uh, which is Kural six. So yeah, Puri, start us off with uh, Kural. Puri vaiil ainda vittan poidi rolka. So, yeah, so, I mean, it's quite hard to understand, but we'll go to the G. Pope's explanation in English. Um, so, what he's saying is, those, those who shall prosper are those who abide in the faultless ways of him, who has destroyed the five desires of the senses. So, like, he's saying, if you can um, completely devote yourself to God and completely understand his ways uh, and God who is uh, beyond the five senses and the five desires and you go beyond his way I think you will you will prosper I think that's what yeah. he's saying what about you? Yeah. Well, uh, I, uh, well I don't know what Jeep is trying to say but I think what the Kural is at least trying to articulate is uh, I think it talks about discipline in this Kural and it sort of says now, oftentimes, uh, religion tries to enforce this discipline, right? Uh, like, you need to wake up and pray every morning. And that sort of becomes your meditation. So, there are these tiny things that uh, God or religion tries to enforce uh, and tries building your uh, resilience and sort of... Uh, and senses, for example, fasting and things like that. So, I think uh, this can be... This can, it, it, I think it talks about that and I think it's and it's very interesting because today a lot of is what's talked about is how much discipline we lack, right? We are we're such a resourceful society yeah. with so much technological uh, advancements, but we lack the discipline to just keep our phone down for two seconds or fully be involved in a moment, and that's very interesting. And the fact that some person noticed that oh shit, uh, we need this discipline some two thousand years ago is very interesting because. Uh, there's, there's this. I think there's an excellent quote. Uh, uh, it says, "The first, the the problem with the man is that he cannot sit by himself, ideally, and think. He cannot sit by himself, and not and, and be idle or something like that. And you may think this was written ten years ago, after the smartphone was sort of out and everybody was just clinging on to it. But I think it was written 150 years ago. I don't remember the exact context of it. But this quote sort of uh, reminded me of that quote." With that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm definitely one who who can't put like his phone down. So this resonates with me very, very heavily. I can I can understand this. This is something that's something I should work on. Putting my phone down. Yeah, we all yeah. should. Quarantine has definitely not helped any of us in that regard, right? Yeah, quarantine has definitely not helped. Yeah. Yes. Either way, what what, what are your thoughts, Adi? Do you just agree with Jeepo, or do you have any do you have any other insights that you like to share? Uh, no, well, I, I, as I said, I really think that the five senses, right? You should, you should, mm, you should have a responsible indulgence with your five senses. Like it's nice to have good food and everything, but that should not be your life. Or with everything, like anything that yeah. you desire, it yeah. should just be a minor improvement. It shouldn't be something that depended on. True. I think uh, things like you will either become numb to the pleasure or you might become dependent on the pleasure. So either is bad. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. Uh, with that, uh, tell us what you guys think. Uh, hit us up on Instagram. Uh, we share uh, every after each Kural, we're posting the Kural in Tamil and its meaning. And you guys can share your um, insights on the comment section or even DM us. Maybe we'll share that as a post. Uh, we'd love to involve you in the discussion as usual. Uh, and as always, uh, thank you for listening. Nandri. Welcome.